Okay, so we got a question right here as well. A voltmeter was connected across the ends of a second wire. The student moved the wire vertically downwards between the magnet at a constant speed. Okay, a potential difference PD was observed on the voltmeter while the wire was moving. Calculate the maximum potential difference that could have been measured. Length of each height is 34 millimeters. Height of each magnet is 20 millimeters. Okay, and the magnetic flux density between magnets is basically 0 0.35 uh, Tesla and vertical speed of the wire is 2.2 meter per second. Okay, so we, we are going to use the formula E is equals to uh, AMF is equals to basically minus D and you know uh, magnetic flux and basically uh, you know D is basically representing a small change in you know time and in uh, basically magnetic flux uh, linkage because n n times uh, magnetic flux is magnetic linkage formula right so and as we know we don't have time neither we don't have this magnetic flux so we're gonna calculate these both of these stuff right so I'm gonna use for time is basically s is equals to d by t right and I'm gonna use this magnetic flux original formula which is basically equals to ba now you might be wondering why I use s is equals to d by t right so basically I can see that uh, remember which is the height and which is length right uh, so height is this direction this is height right and underneath is basically length if you might not know what where is height and where is length right so I use this to find basically the base because it says he vertically moved the wire downwards right at a constant speed constant speed so basically is referring to you know as uh, s is equal to dt which is speed is equal to distance by time right that's why i use because it said constant speed that's why i used this formula right here right okay so let's basically find this magnetic flux which is basically equal to uh, 0 0.35 times 0 0.034 right uh b b have been given what is yeah b was given as 0 0.35 and a is area area is not given to us so area we basically calculate by multiplying the height and the length right remember that it is in millimeter so we have to divide it by thousand which i did which is 0 0.034 and 0 0.02 i also divide this by a thousand because it is in millimeters so you have to convert it in meters right and to calculate area we have to multiply height and length right so because as we know we can it's easier easy to guess how to find the area right so area we know it's meter squares you know it's meter square so we need two meter values to make it area right so i can see i have length as millimeter and i have height as millimeter right so i can convert it into meters these both and then multiply it to get the area right so this value i'm gonna get it as 0.000238 webs right uh weeps so now i have to find this as well so i have s is equals to d by t which i need to find t right so basically t is equals to d by s i've been given d vertical you have to find the vertical right so it's being give, uh, going from vertically downwards right so i have to use the height not the length length is basically downwards right Le this is big i'm just displaying the magnet right so magnet height is this magnet length is this right okay so uh the value of for the height is basically 2 by 100 basically to convert it into meters uh, sorry about thousand right about by thousand and then you have 2.2 .2, right so get you get your value as 0 0.0091 seconds right and 
you need to find the emf which is basically equals to uh, this negative sign i think you won't be needing it because uh, you're not right now defining the lens row right here you're just finding the basically the emf the normal emf the maximum emf right so you don't need this negative sign right here for now right so if you can ignore it or you can write it as well doesn't matter that much you just need the maximum pd right so you need so maximum PD is basically in positive, right? So it doesn't matter if you write it or not, but I would recommend not to write it, you know? So 0 0.00038 by 0 0.0091. And then I get this answer as 0 0.026 volt, which is my final answer.